And our last application this morning comes from Digital Legends Entertainment. Now, we only learned about this last developer last week. They're based in Barcelona, Spain, and they only started on the SDK two weeks ago. Hello everyone, I'm Dark Respawn. Digital Legends is officially gonna shut down Respawnables, they're gonna stop making updates for Respawnables, I don't play this game much anymore but it's crazy that it's getting shut down. If you could describe Respawnables in two words, wasted potential would be the most accurate term because Respawnables is a victim of wasted potential. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss the history of it and what went wrong with this game. Respawnables was first released in late 2012 by Digital Legends Entertainment on iOS and Android. Unlike most your games, however, this one was known for its unique 2D slash 3D cartoonish looks. Beyond looks, it was easy to play on both PC and mobile, a rare thing for shooter games that are normally played on PC. In 5 years, it had reached 45 million downloads and maintained 1.5 million monthly active users, and at the same time it had over 1 million 5 star reviews. One thing the game had was balancing the power of its weapons. Most sure games would release one shot or OP weapons causing an unbalance. Respawnables did a decent job of maintaining this. That is, until 2016 came by. When 2015 passed by, Respawnables maintained a steady player base and still had some popularity. This would not come without problems that would cause the game's downfall. One of them being hackers, a common bug across even the most popular games of the past and present, Roblox, Minecraft, Among Us, etc. As seen in this clip, hackers have been a major contributor to making the game annoying and unfair recently. This hacker only known as I was one of the first to use hacks involving continuous shooting without having to rely on reloading the weapon. To players, it was almost if not impossible to compete with players who would become as OP as him. Hackers would continue to haunt this game decreasing the player base due to how boring matches would become. Another cause was the fact that the game turned into a pay to win type of game. If you wanted to be the best player, spend some money, that was it. Although the updates Digital Legends dropped were fine at best, the best weapons in the game required a ridiculous amount of gold or cash. The result from this was a battle see who was willing to spend the most to become the best player in the game. And when you have players like that, nobody's going to hop online or even download the game. As Syndrome from The Incredibles says, And when everyone's super! <laughs> No one will be. Lastly, the biggest cause of this game's downfall was the lack of care to keep it from shutting down. Games aren't 100% perfect, which is why the audience requests changes or add-ons to keep the game from becoming stale. Without giving people a reason to play, games can lose its audience and become irrelevant. Unfortunately, Respawnables suffer from lack of care due to causes outside of hacking, boring add-ons such as refusing to fix patches, no updates on new maps, just boring events, and especially refusing to fix the friends section. All of these are proof that you can't just throw items out to players and expect your game to stay afloat. On October 28, 2021, Activision would acquire Digital Legends in hopes of working on a new Call of Duty game to be released sometime in the future. This would come with the consequence that they would have to withdraw Respawnables from the App and Play Store by January 13th of 2022. The company made a post on Twitter about the final updates and how this was a ride into the sunset. Now all that's left of the game is the memories it left on YouTube and in the fanbase that remains waiting for a glimmer of hope. Hope that the game will return whether in a remake or even a spin-off. I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis on this game. I'm your host The Mouse and I will see you next time.